let's take a look here at Azure Tinkerpop, which is a graph computing framework for both graph databases, OLTPs, and graph analytic systems, OLAPs. So Tinkerpop enables developers to use a vendor agnostic distributed framework to traverse, query many different graph systems. They always say traverse because there's so many, it's, it's a tree, right? So there's a lot of databases that this thing connects to. And so here they all are, but the ones I want to indicate to you that are important is Amazon Neptune, Cosmo DB, Hadoop via Spark, Neo4j, which is one of the most popular uh, graphing databases, Orient DB, and Titan, okay? So the thing is, is that this isn't a graph database. It is a basically an adapter to other graph databases. And Tinkerpop includes a graph traversal language called Gremlin, which is the single language that can be used for all these graph systems. So let's talk about Gremlin. Gremlin is a graph traversal language for Apache Tinkerpop. And so it looks like this. And sometimes, uh, you know, like even without Tinkerpop, and I think this is with CosmoDB, that they'll support this language by default. So you don't necessarily need to have Tinkerpop to work with some databases, but it's great to have that service if you, if or like the framework if you need it. So Gremlin is, is designed to write once and run anywhere. WORA, Gremlin traversal can be evaluated as a real-time query. So LLTB or a batch analytics query. So over here, it's just kind of showing you these are the OLTPs, graph databases over here. And then on the right-hand side, we have OLAPs, okay? And so Gremlin hosted language embedding means you can use your favorite programming language when you write Gremlin, okay? So there you go.